Hello everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. I actually have a question for you today and I'd love your feedback. Drop it below. So the question is, if you have an SMS marketing list, and let's say you're sending text messages, at what percentage adoption rate for RCS business messaging does it make sense for you to start sending RCS business messages to your SMS list? So let me break this down here. Uh, Mobile Squared, a research firm, found that RCS business messaging should be available to 17% of consumers in the United States by the end of 2019. This means that if you have a list, let's say, uh, you can expect by the end of 2019, 17% of the SMS subscribers on that list could receive an RCS business message from you. That's pretty cool. Now, the question though is, is 17% enough for you as a brand to make it worth it to create that RCS business message um, instead of just sending an SMS or MMS? Is it 17%? Is that where the tipping point is where for you, you would create another essentially message uh, to your subscribers, an RCS business message? Or is it 20%, 30%, 50%? Or do you have to hit 90% for it to make it worth it for you as a brand to create a new message, an RCS business message. Anyway, I love your feedback. Um, drop your comment below, put the percentage of uh, how many of your SMS subscribers need to have RCS business message before you actually start sending RCS business messages. And then if you want to, uh, put the percentage and then put why. Why you know, is, is that percentage the percentage that you're picking? Again, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Again, my name is Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Thanks, everyone.